All right, we're going to go to a video clip and we're going to show them what you're talking about. And this is one of the video clips that I love the most. If we could take the, the, the gambler's idea for a moment, if you had three sets of dice, uh, or three dice, and you said, I'm going to roll them, and I want each one of them to come up on a six, okay? And let's say you did it once. You say, well, that was pretty lucky. You say, can I do it again? You say, most likely not. You roll them again, you get them again. You say, can I do them again? If you do it ten times in a row, you start saying, hey, I think that's fixed because you can't do that. If I said, you want to see me do it 200 times in a row, each one of those dice always coming up on a six, right. you would say it's fixed. Now, you are saying there's more than 200 anthropic laws, principles about our galaxy concerning life that are true. Any one of them, if they were not true, it would throw all the other 199 off and we would not have life on planet Earth. And I want to show them one that just blew my mind when I saw it. It's on your video. Let's take a look. Even if the just right planetary system were to form from the just right elements of dead stars, there is another critical factor to consider. The life support planet must be positioned at the just right location within the galaxy. Near the center of our galaxy, conditions are too congested. With billions of stars in a relatively small volume, gravitational tug-of-wars make the survival of life-supportable planets impossible. And the radiation there is intense, far too intense for life. Toward the outer edges of our galaxy, the stellar population becomes too sparse for planet building. The heavy elements generated by supernovae and white dwarf binaries are too few and far between, not enough building material to make planets. At almost any distance from our galactic center, conditions within the spiral arms prevent planet formation. Amazingly, our particular solar system resides at the perfect location in between spiral arms, neither too close to the center nor too close to the outer edge. Our just right location not only permits our existence, but it also allows us to see and explore our region of space. No wall of high rises, no big dust clouds block our view. All right, Hugh, it, it, it's got to be more than we're just lucky that we're in just the right place in our solar system. And it's got to be more than we're just lucky that we have a bird's eye view to the whole universe to see what's happened. Why should people even care that they can see all of this? Well, the fact that we can see it means that we're able to discover all this design. We're able to discover the existence of God. If it wasn't for the fact that our star was between two spiral arms and that our Milky Way galaxy was in a very sparsely populated part of the universe, we wouldn't even be able to see the cosmic background radiation that so powerfully testifies of the creator God of the Bible as the creator of the universe. So the universe is designed to provide a home for us to exist, but that design also gives us the best possible opportunity to see the universe and to see the handiwork of the creator that made our existence possible. 